Welcome to ASRM Today, a podcast that takes a deeper dive into the current topics in reproductive medicine. I'm Jeffrey Hayes, and today on the show, I'm talking with Dr. George Hill from Nashville Fertility Center. Dr. Hill, welcome to ASRM Today. Thank you. Good to be with you. Fantastic. So how, how did you get into, how did you get started in, in, in reproductive medicine? Well, I was uh, doing my residency back in the early 1980s when the first IVF baby was born. Um, back then, reproductive endocrine was primarily kind of an endocrine side to it and then surgical side to it. So IVF was very new. So I'm kind of in that group of physicians who's seen IVF grow from the very infancy back in the early 80s when it was the first baby born with the Joneses, I think in 1982, I think the first one in the world in the late 70s. So kind of seen this development of IVF throughout my career. So that was kind of what piqued my interest in it. But at that point, I really was more interested, I think, in the surgical side. IVF was just kind of a small side piece to REI at that point, although now I think most everyone would, would agree that it's probably the major thing we do in reproductive endocrine. Now, you are a uh, faculty for the upcoming 2023 ASRM postgraduate course in New Orleans titled Interactive Workshop on Proper Coding, Reimbursement for Procedures, Laboratory, Telemedicine, and More, which is aimed at uh, MDs and mid-level providers in REI, practice managers, ART lab directors, office billers, and endocrine—oh, excuse me, and endocrinology lab supervisors. Um, can you tell our audience a little bit about how this course topic came about? Well, we've been doing this course for many years. Uh, you know, it's a very important part of what we do, although it's not what we're taught in medical school or residency or anything like that, but. In order to run a very busy and hopefully productive reproductive endocrinology and fertility IVF practice, you certainly have to be able to, to know how to bill for your services appropriately, hopefully get reimbursed appropriately for those services so that you can pay your employees and pay your rent, and keep the lights on so that you can most importantly provide services to your patients. So. Um, this is a very important aspect of our practice that doesn't always probably get the attention that it deserves, but it's certainly very important to the viability of, of any practice. So I, I realized that back when I was on faculty at Vanderbilt back in the 80s that uh, this was something that I didn't know much about. No one had ever taught me much about this. And so at that time, you pretty much had to learn it on your own. And so I became involved in the um, coding committee with ACOG at that point. But also at the time, ASRM was developing a coding committee, and I was asked to head that coding committee. So I've been involved with this with ASRM since its, its very beginning. And we are absolutely delighted. Uh, uh, to that, that that you are uh, uh, with us every year. I'm going to go ahead and tell you and, and tell the audience too. Uh, we get coding is one of our top three questions uh, that we get via yeah. email, whether people <laughs> encounter us on the floor and whatnot. So I know I'm looking very forward to this as I do uh, every year. And in in folks, there is still time to register for yeah. ASRM and 2023. The and the other thing to keep in mind is that there are changes that take place in coding yearly. Mm -hmm. And so even if you've done this course in the last two, four, five, ten years, it's worth doing it again. There have been huge changes in the ENM services just in the last year or so that are very important to the, the to our practices. And we're going to be covering that in the course. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, additions to ICD-10, particularly uh, when it comes to dealing with endometriosis. So I don't want to, I don't want people to think that if they've taken the course, even in the, when we gave it two years ago, it's going to be different this time because there's been some dramatic changes um, in how we code the services that we provide. So it won't be the same old coding course. 
That is wonderful. And, and, and for people, again, uh, you can register right now uh, uh, for, for, for this postgraduate course, for other courses, for, for so much. Uh, just go to www.asrmcongress.org. Dr. Hill, thank you again so much for being able to take time to be out on the show today. Thank you for having me. And until next time, I am Jeffrey Hayes, and this is ASRM Today. This concludes this episode of ASRM Today. For show notes, author information, and discussions, go to asrmtoday.org. This material is copyrighted by the American Society for Reproductive Medicine and may not be reproduced or used without express consent from ASRM. ASRM Today series podcasts are supported in part by the ASRM Corporate Member Council. The information and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of ASRM and its affiliates. These are provided as a source of general information and are not a substitute for consultation with a physician.